Welcome back folks on my channel. We are going to try Red Baron frozen pizza today. That is the next part of our food review. So we're gonna end up comparing DiGiorno, Red Baron, and what's the third one? I think it's called Table 82. They're all frozen pizzas. Three different ones. We're gonna compare, see which one of those three are the best. So, Red Baron is up first. I'm gonna take it out, show you what it looks like out of the box. Now, okay, this is the four cheese pizza. What are the four cheeses? Mozzarella, cheddar, provolone, and parmesan. Open that up, and when we come back, let's see what it looks like. And remember, guys, to like if you like this video, and subscribe if you like these type of videos where we do food reviews. We also do travel reviews, and I keep mentioning product reviews. See you later. All right, we cooked it for the recommended time. Does it look the same? Eh... Not really. I mean, kind of close. I mean, it said cook until the outer edges were a golden brown and the cheese was melted in the middle. It looks like the cheese is melted in the middle, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it tastes. That's the big test. All right. See you in just a little bit. Okay, guys. Welcome back. So, these are the three pizzas we're trying right now. So, we got the Giorno. DiGiorno, Red Baron, and local pizza places pizza. We're going to compare the three of them right now. So first off, just from the look of looks of it, uh, you can see that the DiGiorno is a little uh, thicker crust, a little fluffier, but the Red Baron's not far behind. Red Baron, if you look on the back of the package, it says that it's not too thick, not too thin, so we'll check that out. And we'll try out the local pizza right now. All right, let's see. Which one's first? Let's try the DiGiorno first. Okay. DiGiorno. Okay. One bite. It's like Barstool Sports. One bite, everybody knows the rules. But over here... We're actually taking one bite. All right. One bite from Red Baron. And now local pizza, not frozen. All right. I'm sorry again for the crunching noises, but have to do it real you see one bite from each everyone knows the rules ha ha lol okay um so try it all three uh you're probably gonna think i'm crazy but i actually like the red baron the best it's got a um nice crunch to it and it just turned out like better and i guess the sauce is pretty decent so um red baron number one uh, I'm going to say uh, Pizza Place number two, and sorry DiGiorno, but it's definitely not delivery. Well, see you later from New York, where the best taste tests are in existence. Guys, let me know what you think. If you tried these three, and uh, well, not the third one, because that's a local pizza, but if you tried either of DiGiorno or Red Baron, and let me know what you think, and just uh, comment below. So we'll see you later, and uh, if you like to see these videos right away when they come up, then remember to hit that notification bell, and take care. Hey guys, we have another one for you, a bonus. It's a review of a pizza that I've never seen reviewed before anywhere, 
And if you have, then comment below because I haven't seen it. But anyway, it's Wild Mike's. It's an ultimate pizza. It's a frozen pizza. The company is based in Oregon or Oregon or Oregon, Oregon. Comment below. Let me know how you pronounce that or how you people from Oregon or Oregon pronounce it. But anyway, we're in New York here, so, you know, you have to cut us some slack. But uh, it's over two pounds, super sized. Four cheese pizza. It comes with red pepper packets and Italian spice packets. We'll have to check that out. Show you what that's all about. Um, so right now we're just uh, preheating the oven and I'll show you in a, in a bit what those packets look like. And then we're going to rate it. See if it's worth buying or not. See, we're saving you guys money because... Um, if it's horrible, you don't want to buy it. But if it's great, then you're going to want to. All right, see you later. Well, let's put it up against DiGiorno and see if uh, it beats out DiGiorno at least. See you later. Okay, welcome back. Uh, let's see now. Welcome back. This is Wild Mike's Ultimate Pizza Frozen. And there are the packets that it comes with. So it's... Probably uh, mostly oregano for the Italian spice and crushed red pepper. How about some Parmesan cheese and garlic, like garlic powder? That would be even better. That's a suggestion for you, Wild Mike. All right, we'll see how it comes out in a little bit. Oh, guys, and remember, if you like these food reviews, then uh, you got to subscribe for sure. And if you like these videos, then like it as well and hit the notifications. So we can give you more, more food reviews, also product reviews, stock tips, and travel reviews, and all that stuff. So see you later. Coming back in just a bit. Okay, now the pizza's done. Did it come out looking like it does in the box? Of course not. But that's partially because of this oven. It wasn't the greatest. I don't think we, we had it too close to the edge, so it cooked a little unevenly, but... Oh, well. Um, all right. So let us try some of this pizza and see what it's like. And I'll be right back. All right. Welcome back to the review of Wild Mike's Pizza. Um, hmm. Just going to say I like it better than. Okay. Took a bite and a couple of bites. And uh, I actually like this pizza. It's pretty good. Wild Mike's. Um. I like it better than DiGiorno, let's put it that way. And I also like it better than Red Baron, which we tried the other day. And what's the other one that we tried? Well, we tried... Uh, I can't think of the name of it. Oh, DiGiorno... Oh, no, sorry. We were going against a pizza from a pizza place. So, you know, I mean, that's always going to win out. But um, Red Baron was pretty good. It almost, I think I almost like that better than the pizza place but nah i'm just kidding um so i think this beats red baron and it beats DiGiorno. so in terms of frozen pizza that's where it stands i think it's pretty good and i would recommend it and we'll give it a thumbs up oh um before we leave i gotta try the uh, and show you the packets that they give you with it all right these are the packets i'm gonna throw some I think it's mostly going to be oregano. We'll check it out. See what it's like. Whoa. Put a little bit too much on there. All right. And then throw a little red, little red pepper. Not much. Don't want to overdo that. Yeah, I probably already did overdo it. But let's just give it a try with it just so we could say we tried everything. Mm. I think it's great that it comes with the packets. You won't really see that in other um, frozen pizzas. So, good for you, Oregon. Good for you. Thumbs up. Okay, welcome back on this channel. Now, we are going to compare Newman's Own 
four cheese pizza two wild mike's ultimate pizza so um i think you may yes you did already see the review of wild mike's but let's compare it to newman's own and let's see which one tastes better and comes out better overall um so newman's own one good thing is that 100 percent of the profits go to charity you know from uh, the actor Paul Newman, who started it. So, uh, all right, guys, let's check that out. And this is what Newman's Own Pizza looks like, the four cheese, when you take it out of the package. We're going to heat it up and see what it looks like afterwards. Okay, well, here we are with Newman's Own Pizza, and I'm about to show you what it looks like when it's done. We kind of maybe did it a little too crispy, but... Hey, that's the way people around here like it. And uh, I'm assuming that this is this Newman's Own goes all across the United States. I mean, we're in New York. Um, I know Paul Newman was living in Connecticut, but uh, this has to be around the whole United States, I'm sure. Anyway, um, so there it is. That's the Newman's Own pizza. And now we're going to try it and let you know what it tastes like. Okay, I turned my piece upside down just to show you what the bottom crust looks like. Um, I, I actually like the Wild Mike's Pizza better just because the, it had more sauce. And I, this, in my opinion, doesn't have enough sauce. I mean, it's pretty good, but I'm going to rate it um, actually below DiGiorno and below Red Baron as far as frozen pizza goes. Um, so I just wanted to show you, and can you comment below and let me know that if you have this in where your state or wherever you live in the United States, because it's located, uh, the headquarters in Westport, Connecticut. So I'm assuming it's across the whole United States, Newman Zone, but you let me know. You let me know, guys. Comment below and... Please, if you like these videos, like it and also subscribe because we uh, need as many subscribers as we can get so that we can continue. I, this actually cost a bunch of money to buy all these pizzas, so um, and we're not even finishing them all. So uh, we're doing it for these videos for you and to uh, be able to afford these, we need some more subscribers. So anyway, subscribe if you'd like. And we'll see you later from New York. All right, we got another taste tester for Newman's Own Pizza. Let's see what he says. He's going to give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, thumb in the middle. No? Yes? Just here, you either go like this, middle. thumb in the middle. All right. Mm -hmm. Is it better than uh, crazy yeah. wild mics? Mm -hmm. All right. So we have one person who at least who thinks it's better than Crazy Mike's. Wild Mike's. Is it Wild Mike's or Crazy Mike? I don't even know. Wild Mike. All right. See you later.